both those of you who are here in the hall and those who are watching and listening in Camp Liberty and Iran. What a great gathering this has been today. A gathering I have not seen before except maybe the one last year. But I think it's time for us to stop having these gatherings here in Paris. We should have them in Tehran and the people who are now the people who are now in Camp Liberty should join us there. I would like to say on behalf of the Nordic delegation that we are very pleased and proud to be able to be here today at this annual rally, which is basically a parade. It's a parade of politicians and public in favor of your great cause, in favor of democracy and freedom in Iran. This year, this year, this event is taking place in very different circumstances where the Iranian rulers are engulfed by various crises, the latest being recent developments in Iraq. They understand, and we understand, that for them to be able to pursue their aggressive policy, they need to have a puppet a dictator in Iraq. And he must go, like so many people have said here before, and they must all go, like Mr. Struan Stevenson said. And when, when the mullahs are gone, the leaders of the Western countries have some explaining to do for why they have stood by the religious dictatorship in Iran, why have they, they have failed the people of Iran while their rights have been trampled for so, such a long time. There will be some explaining to do by the United States, by a number of other countries who uh, have been more interested in dealing with the Iranian rulers rather than working in the interests of the ordinary people in Iran. Madam Rajavi, we want you to know that we have been and continue to be on your side until you achieve the human rights of all your people in full and you can put your 10-point plan into action. And we believe that your long-standing and relentless efforts for democracy will so soon come to a successful end. Thank you. Thank you for allowing us to take part. And best of luck to all of you.